Welcome to the walkthrough of frequently made mistakes I encountered while reviewing assignment two submissions for CS253 in the fall of 2023. First, make sure you comment your code thoroughly or it will not be reviewed. I've said this before, I say it all the time. Take a look at the link here for instructions on how to comment your code. Code that is not commented thoroughly simply will not be reviewed. Second, let's take a look at some issues with fork join EX crawler implementations. Make sure that you use the common fork join pool. You don't want to create a totally new fork join pool. This was a leftover from assignment one as well. Make sure you do that. Here's another case where fork join pool is not being used. The common fork join pool is not being used. In fact, no fork join pool is being used here at all. Also, don't be calling join, but call invoke instead. It's a two-way call. You don't need to use a stream in perform crawl. It's really one of the few methods where you don't need to use a stream. Instead, just do a little chain off of the common fork join pool and invoke. And down here, this is also doing way too many things that don't need to be done in perform crawl. This, this particular operation shouldn't be done in perform crawl. That should be done in the URL crawler tasks compute method. And this is also reversed. You wanna check for depth less than max depth before checking to see whether or not you can add the URI to the M unique URIs hash set. Down here, this specification doesn't conform to what's required. This is in the make process image task method. Let me make that a little bit more clear by cutting and pasting this and putting it there. Uh, we say don't use try catch blocks, but instead use the exception utils rethrow function adapter method, which was also discussed in frequently made mistakes for assignment one. Make sure that you're aware of the mistakes for assignment one and don't repeat them in subsequent assignments. This call it was also from the frequently made mistakes for assignment one. Don't be using this type of code with a Lambda expression. Instead, use the URL new constructor reference, this syntax here. Let's take a look at the call and manage blocker from the fork join EX crawler class. Don't use a try catch block here. There's no need to use a try catch block at all in any place in the code. Now we're into URL crawler task. Please make sure you use the right naming conventions for the fields. You need to use M page URI and M depth instead of page URI and depth. That should be something that's easy to fix. That's the convention, the Hunga so-called Hungarian notation that we're using, named after the famous Hungarian Charles Simonyi, who was an early employee of Microsoft. For the compute method in URL crawler task, there's a number of things that you need to make sure you do. First, please put each intermediate operation on its own line and comment each one. This is another thing you need to do in order to make sure you're commenting your code thoroughly. Please make sure you put the check for M depth less than or equal to max M max depth first. And please replace the call to dot sum with find first and or else zero. Uh, again, down here, this code is just impossible to read. It's not commented. Do not write code like this. Code like this, henceforth, just will not be reviewed. I'm not going to review this code. Uh, it's way too hard to read. You should not write code that runs off the right-hand side of the screen. Let's take another look at some problems with compute. This implementation doesn't meet the specification above. You need to use a Java stream here. But in other words, both of these conditional expressions with if statements need to be moved into a single filter expression that occurs at the bottom of the method. And this statement also belongs in a stream. So you've got a lot of things to do. The whole point of this assignment was, or one of the whole points of this assignment was to use Java sequential streams. So if you don't use Java sequential streams, then you're missing the whole point of the assignment. Down here, make sure that you filter out null images and then call process page in the context of the stream rather than splitting out the code as we do down here. This does not belong there. Uh, let's take a look at crawl page. Make sure you use the fluent interface pattern, which means you chain together the intermediate operations and ultimately the terminal operation in the stream rather than splitting them up into separate local variables. Make sure that you call the get page method in the context of the manage blocker mechanism that expands the size of the fork join pool. There's a helper method that you implement that does that, so make sure you do that. Please get in the habit of using method references, not Lambda expressions wherever you can. Here's an example where you should do that. Let's take a look now at process page. Make the stream for out of all the images and subpages within a page by using the get page elements as stream method here. So don't use get page elements followed by dot stream. Use the get page elements as stream method. 
This filter operation that you have here is unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Just make sure that map handles things properly. And then please integrate the call to fork here into the map operation that's up here. And there's no need to call filter here at all. You don't need to worry about filtering out non-null objects because if there's non-null objects, then the world has basically come to an end at this point and new has failed. Don't allocate this variable directly, but instead use collect along those lines. Don't use for each here, but instead use collect. That's another important theme that we're talking about with using streams. We've talked about that in class to use collect rather than for each. Down here for some results, please use a method reference here. Instead of a Lambda expression, you should always get in the habit of checking to see whether Lambda expressions can be converted to method references. Your Android Studio IDE will do that for you automatically, as will IntelliJ, which Android Studio is built on. Down here, use sum instead of reduce of, or instead of reduce, which is a terminal operation that you don't need to use here, but use sum instead. Please use the right naming convention for the fields. Please put the of method on its own line and comment it. A lot of people aren't doing this, but this is what it should look like. You should have a comment here that explains what of does. Make sure you filter out missing null images. Please use a method reference here instead of a lambda expression. Definitely get in the habit of always checking for that with your IDE. And I'm not sure what the point of returning minus 99 is. That just makes absolutely no sense and it confuses the count. So just return zero. If, if there's nothing in the stream to work on, just return a zero, that's fine. Down here, make sure that you integrate the call to fork into the map operation above. So it goes there, not on its own separate map intermediate operation. And once again, you don't need to call filter here to filter out null objects. That, that again, would be the end of the world if that was happening. Down here, please, re please replace the call to map followed by filter of non-null into a single call to filter that calls task.join and checks to see whether it's null or not as the return from the filter, as well as joining. Down here, replace this with a simple call to count. You don't need to do map to int followed by sum. So just replace this with a simple call to the count terminal operation. Once again, please make sure you name the fields in the proper way using this Hungarian notation format. Down here, please swap the order so that you do stream of M transform instead of stream of image. We may fix that in a skeleton test coming up here, but uh, right now that's what is expected by the, the unit tests. Likewise, when you do that, you'll have to change these filter and map operations so that they work with the proper parameter. In other words, transform instead of image, that's a simple change. And this code here is missing a terminal operation. So it's it's not going to actually uh, do anything sensible. So let's put it like that. And you can see better what it does. So you need to make sure you have a terminal operation here. Uh, down here, there's no need to check for objects non null there, that won't be something you have to worry about. Please replace this call to map with a call to filter that calls create new cache item, and then have a separate call to map that calls apply transform. And then finally, once again, make sure you're using streams. This code isn't using streams, missing the point of the assignment. So make sure that you use streams and the idiom that we talked about in class. So that's a summary of frequently made mistakes from this assignment. Please make sure that you address these problems and resubmit them by the deadline that's posted in the deadlines link in the CS253 wiki page.